This is Twit. Joe, Greenville, South Carolina. Hello, Joe. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Yes, sir, Leo. How you doing? I'm well. How are you? Oh, I'm doing. I'm doing well. First time caller, long time listener. I love it. Well, um, welcome. I had a I had a question. Um, my dad um, he travels about four or five times a year. They've got a couple of time shares, and he loves his um, Echo. I guess I can say that. You can say Echo. Um, just don't say the A word. Okay. <laughs> we don't want okay, we don't want to trigger any, trigger anybody's okay. Echo device to go yeah, off, including um, mine. <laughs> yeah, he's um, he's. 79 yeah and he's limited limited on his vision it's, and it's wonderful oh yeah it's voice and he loves it's it huge he loves it he does his um he does his audio books on it and all that yep stuff. if you if you subscribe to audible echo is of course created by amazon which owns audible i do that too i i'll say you know what my command is echo read to me and it'll pick up the book yep. i'm listening to right where i left wow. off it's awesome okay it's like but my mama. What I what I what I had a question with is he's got a regular Echo um, Generation One. Yeah, that tube, the black tube. Echo, and he's got an Echo Dot Generation Two, and they take they've taken the dot a couple of times to them on vacation and stuff, but they can't get it to log in. And and my stepmom, she knows how to do it. She has an iPhone and logs into the app. And can't get it to do it. And what I'm thinking is, is that um, where they have the privacy in terms of use, when you have to click on, when you go on a, a hot spot, I'm thinking that it can't log in because you never click that to get it to go to the Internet. Yes, you nailed it. That's We call that a captive portal. And it's broken, okay. but that's how most of these open Wi-Fi access points work. Uh, unfortunately, is uh, you, and you know this. You go to a hotel or a coffee shop, and you open. Yep. You know you and the, you choose in the Wi-Fi chooser. You choose you know Starbucks Wi-Fi, and then the next thing that happens, and sometimes it takes a minute, is a browser will pop up with a login screen, and you have to agree to terms of service and blah blah blah. Sometimes you have to pay. Sometimes it's free, but that's called the captive portal. It's a very it's a terrible kludgy hack of a solution and it does screw yep. up things like an amazon dot an echo dot because yeah well how are you going to do that on a dot that's right so you now, need a way I of joining the wi-fi I, there's a couple of ways you could do this and now i don't know how tech savvy your uh, folks are no they're, they're they're not they need to be they can they can do the uh a word app on the iPhone, yeah. but that's, that's about as far so as they, they can go. The one solution, but it, it is a little bit geeky, is to bring a travel router with you. So yeah, That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So if, if you had a travel router that was designed to handle captive portals, and many are, you could set it up from a computer or a phone, get it working, get it logged into the captive portal, and then have the dot join that network. The advantage of that, by the way, is that network's always going to have the same name and password. So you could even set it up for them. Um, and then when they get to the hotel, all they have to do is log in, get the, the Wi-Fi, you know, the uh, travel router to work. I buy what I do, and this would work perfectly well, is I get a travel router from a, a, a website called Tiny Hardware Firewall. And okay. these, guys, these guys are designed for exactly that. So the one I use looks like a USB key. You plug it into the USB. Do they have a laptop they bring with them or no? Um, they have a tablet that they bring. Just a bring tablet. With them. She, 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 she has a, lap, a laptop, so I could tell her to bring that. Yeah, it'd be a lot easier with a laptop. Some, you need something you can – I can't – let me think if you could do this with a phone. Uh, you could. Come to think of it, you could do it with a phone. So what they would do is they would uh, plug in this travel router to the wall, which powers it up. You wait a minute for it to boot up, and the lights change and stuff. And then the travel router is immediately is a is a uh, website that you can log into. You'd have to set this up for them ahead of time. You give them a bookmark yeah. in their browser. Uh, it, it can be on her phone, by the way. So her phone, she will in, she will join their personal Wi-Fi, which is this little tiny hardware firewall. And it'll have its own name. You can make it their name so they know, oh, yeah, it's me. It'll have a password because you want to protect it. Now, it won't have it. What it won't have yet is Internet access. If they're at a hotel that has Ethernet, 
you can get one that has an Ethernet port. That makes it really easy. But if they're at a hotel with Wi-Fi, they will then tell the router, okay, now we have to log into the Internet. And what will happen is the router will pass that login page through to her phone. So then she'll have a chance to sign the agreement, press the buttons, enter the password, whatever it is that captive portal requires. That will unlock Internet access for the tiny hardware firewall. And at that point, their dot can join the wire, the, the Wi-Fi network created by the hardware firewall, which will always have the same name, always have the same password because they're bringing it with them. And it will yeah. use the internet provided by the hotel or the or the or the coffee shop or whatever, and everything else should work from that point on. Okay. I know that's about, crazy complicated, but that's I think the way to do it. No, it's not not really. But um, well, for, I think I think you had the idea. Really. You had the idea right off the top with a travel router. So that's exactly yeah. that's exactly the same thing. And you could do you know Netgear sells travel routers. Anything that will handle, and this is the thing you want to check that will handle a captive portal for a travel router to work. Okay. It has to. And then create a Wi-Fi network that's a private Wi-Fi network that your dock can sit on. That'll work. Okay. And it would work with other devices that require Internet as well, like if you wanted it. Because, you know, a lot of things like the Chromecast, you all have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Well, this way you could be on your own personal in-room network that's getting its Internet from the hotel. Okay. And what was that one that tiny that you've got? tiny hardware firewall? Okay, and that's just one. I mean, as I said, I believe Netgear has a travel router, and I'm pretty sure that handles captive portals. Uh, they okay. call it their they call it the Trek travel router. So anything okay. like that. These tiny hardware firewalls are inexpensive, and they're designed to uh, be used with a VPN. So they're also designed okay, to provide good. secure service, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, some open Wi-Fi access spots are not so safe. And they make them in a variety of sizes and styles. Uh, as I mentioned, I have the littlest one, which is just a USB key. But it doesn't have to plug into a computer. It can just plug into a USB charger. You can actually have it sitting on the wall plug if you want. And it becomes, oh, okay. it becomes a Wi-Fi access point wherever you are. That's the one the dot will join. That's the one their laptop will join. Most of them will handle five... Uh, at least five devices. You want to check that too. Make sure it'll handle enough devices. But okay. phone, tablet, and and uh, your uh, your dot. That's probably sufficient. I think this. I agree with you. I think the Echo is amazing technology for people, older people. We gave uh, an Echo to my wife's parents in their seventies. They play Elvis on it all day long. Oh yeah, they they love it. <laughs> he, fact, can, he can tell me music I've never heard of. Oh it. yeah, because they just ask for it by name. It's all. Awesome. It's like yep. for them, this is the future. This is, and I guess for us too, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Yep. In fact, uh, her mom asked me to make a CD of of an artist. She says he's on he's on Echo. He's on the uh, A word. <laughs> and, and <laughs> I don't know. think I don't think she understood that I would have to buy the disc to make it for her, but I did because she wanted it, and I think that's awesome. It's music she found on the Echo. Oh, yes. Isn't it that is awesome? awesome? Yeah. Yep. Well, uh, you're a good, you're, uh, you know, this is going to take a little geekage on your part, but once you get them set up, maybe write some instructions down, they could probably do it. It's always going to be the same every time. Okay. Well, thank you, Leo. My, You've been wonderful. My pleasure. Thank you for calling. Yeah, I love those kinds of problems. You have to kind of think about it and say, oh, what could we do here to make this work? I've actually been wondering myself. Now, I just solved that for me so I could take a dot with me <laughs> next time I travel. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.